Hey from Mike Strong here. In this video, I'm releasing a YouTube subscriber spot. It's a nice way to show new followers uh, where to press the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so they're always updated with and uh, all the new posts that you make. And this is the first time I'm releasing a Premiere Pro project file. So everything is much easier to do and much easier to change. Uh, so it's really quick to alter to your own liking, like changing the picture to your own and also changing the text, of course, the naming and the title. So first go to the link in the description below where you can purchase this for one euro. Once you have downloaded the zip, unzip it and you will end up with this folder. Just open it up. Once you open the folder, you can see four files. These you don't need to touch. Uh, the only thing you can directly change is actually this image. This is uh, 2000 by 48 by 2048 uh, pixel. And you can change this image with like your own photo. Just replace it, make it, uh, make sure that your either saving over this image at the same resolution size or you're just making a yeah moving this out and change the name to the one that you want and pretty much you just double click on this project file and it will open in the Premiere Pro and I am on the latest Premiere Pro CC 2018 and you need to be also because uh, yeah, I don't have the older versions uh, installed, so you do need to be on the newest version to be able to use this. And yeah, pretty much this is the effect. And to change the name here, we have made it easier for you. So here on top, you can see this is the main sequence where you need to render this out. And here we have the change name title here. So we select here and here we can select the change name here and we can just grab the type tool and change your name to what you want. So making it easier. So when we go to the main, you can see change to tutorials. Let's change this to like video oh. video tutorials. So you can see that. And pretty much what you can do is either uh, drag also this project bin into your new sequence uh, or new project or you can now uh, render out and export this and pretty much that instead of uh, using this project bin just render a video that you can always use so when you re are rendering choose quicktime and then gopro cineform with alpha so not the 10 bit one you want to have the with alpha version the reason for that it will make it a transparent video and you can uh, put it on any other videos afterwards and then just render it out. So that was mainly it. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button here below and also make sure you hit that bell icon and I'll see you guys the next time. Bye bye.